And in areas east of the city, the cold and dangerous winds kept most people indoors, but for those without a choice, it's just been brutal. It certainly has been a very unpleasant day. Ross Godotti was out and about in those freezing temps, talking to those who braved the cold to get the job done. Yeah, this cold slammed into Westmoreland County, Fayette County, and Somerset County like some kind of Siberian express train. If you had to do anything outside, it was sheer misery. Spending all but a few moments in today's savage cold and wind was a test of personal endurance. Last night and this morning has been busy, correct? Like this one in Hempfield Township, ice got the better of this pickup truck, which meant Dean Clemens had to get out of his tow truck and get the wreck out of the way. His only protection from the cold, a good attitude, and... Uh, I got multiple layers on. There's actually, I think I got uh, two pairs of... Uh long johns underneath these pants so I'm trying to stay warm. Which absolutely everyone who earns a paycheck working outside did. Regardless of the temperatures, the mail must go through. Postal carriers enduring the howling wind and treacherous conditions. Firefighters and state troopers all place to deal with downed wires and wrecks. How long have you been up doing this now so far? Uh, since four. Well, I've been up since one watching it. That's Tim Palka, the cold and ice unbearable when he would get out to shovel walks or even fill up his truck. Don't come out unless you have to. His plow truck and spreader, taking it on the frozen chin as well. This is tearing it up. This is tearing it up. However, Palka, like so many others, soldiered on because he had to. It's cold. And the older you get, the less you want to do it. <laughs> The crews can only work for about 15 minutes, then they've got to come back into the truck. And if they have to use a bucket truck, they can't go up in high winds. So they're just asking you to please be patient. In Hempfield Township, Roscadotti, KDKA News.